there is a dynamic, world-changing community that God is building. It is called his church, and all are welcomed into it. And Jesus longs that all on planet Earth have the opportunity to at least hear about the wonderful message of new life, freedom and salvation that is available in him alone. And so that they have the opportunity to surrender their lives fully to him and find the wonder of living in relationship with Almighty God. He has made it available through his death on the cross and he calls us to be part of it. And kind of related to the um, previous thing I shared about God equipping us with his Holy Spirit, he equips us with gifts. He gives us supernatural gifts to enable us to live out this uh, kind of dynamic of God, this uh, dynamic that actually brings change and, and um, results in lives being transformed. And so I want to read um, some verses from Ephesians. This is a letter that Paul wrote to the Christians in Ephesus. And um, this is Ephesians 4. And I'll start at verse 11. And it's talking about... about Jesus and him ascending and when he ascended he gave gifts and it says it was he who gave some to be apostles some to be prophets some to be evangelists and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of God and so here um, he's talking about God giving gifts, these uh, what is often called the fivefold ministry, the gi gifts to the church and for the building up of the church and for the equipping of the church, the equipping of God's people. And uh, so here we see God gives gifts to his people. They are supernatural gifts. They're gifts that he equips people to do. Um, and we could, it could be argued from, from this particular passage that these are gifts of leadership or, or gifts of instruction and direction for God's people and not for everybody. Um, but I want to read another passage in Corinthians, which clearly makes it, seems to make it clear to me at least that these gifts are for all of us, they're not just for um, a few people. And there are others uh, beside these ones as well that, uh, that are available, that God makes available for us to equip us and to empower us and to change us and to lead us and enable us to live fully for him, to see the world around us changed. And this is in uh, 1 Corinthians 12. Uh, Paul was writing to the church in Corinth, um, just trying to correct them on a few things, particularly on spiritual gifts. Now, about spiritual gifts, gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to mute idols. Therefore, I tell you that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus be cursed. And no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them in all men. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom. To another the message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. And to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of languages, and still to another the interpretation of those languages. All these are the work of one and the same spirit, and he gives them to each one just as he determines. So God gives these gifts to his people, and it's quite clear that they are not natural gifts, at least the vast majority of those on that list there um, are things that we couldn't do naturally. Um, and when it, when it talks about knowledge and wisdom, this is not just natural knowledge and wisdom. It's, it's a, a knowledge that we couldn't know unless God reveals it to us, that he gives us. And so, so they're incredible gifts that God gives to his church. And they're gifts. So, and God's giving them. So I think we should be those ready to receive them. And not just receive them, but to use them. They are wonderful gifts for the building up of the church. Not only for the building up of the church, but for a revelation of who God is to the world around us and for demonstration of who God is to the world around us. And so we need to recognise that God has gifted us, his people, to enable us to live out the dynamic power of God, to enable us to do actually the very things that Jesus did. Jesus demonstrates many of those gifts in his life and he says that we can do the things that, that he did. I read that in the previous message that I gave on this subject. And these gifts are available for us in order to enable us to do that. And so we don't just live 
by our natural selves, our, our natural abilities, our natural talents. We don't just live in our natural strength but we live under the equipping and the gifting and the empowering and the leading of Holy Spirit um, that, that God gives us. And it is through the, these gifts, partly through these gifts, that we begin to see in a more full measure the fullness of this dynamic, world-changing community really lived out in action. Uh, because it's not just about seeing the power of God at work in dramatic ways. It's about building up one another. It's about... Um, us encouraging and strengthening and helping one another in, in, the, in the process of our journey of faith with Jesus. So don't resist the gifts he has for you, but pursue them and seek them because he has glorious gifts for us that he wants us to use to build one another up, to encourage one another, to be a demonstration to the world around us that Almighty God is in us and using us and that we are part, we are his followers and to see the world changed as we step out in faith using the gifts that he has given us. So live out the dynamic world changing um, the community that you are if you're a child of god and receive and walk in the gifts that he has promised